Hey, good morning and welcome to The Crumb. My husband approached me, I don't know, a while back and showed me this really nifty invention called a flow hive. It's supposed to be a somewhat easier way to have bees. I originally told him no, but here we are getting bees. And the reason why I think it's a great idea is because of our garden. Our garden is doing great. It's doing great. And we want more pollinators. Way more pollinators. And so, here we are. And we're going to try and install a nucleus hive. Uh, most people get bees in pounds, three pound packs with a queen. But we're a little late in the season. And when we called our local uh, beekeeper, he said that if we had a nuke, we were right on time. So that's what we got, which was five frames for a deep box. And uh, we hope that it goes well. I think first what we'll do is we'll probably smoke the bees a little bit. I'll smoke them just a little bit. Let's smoke that engine. As my husband's taking off the uh, saran wrap that they put on it. And then we're just going to load them in frame by frame frame by frame trying to keep them in order because they have an order and the other thing we may try to do is we're going to try and see if we can see a queen to make sure she's there and technically they're all supposed to follow all right so here we go and we're just going to add a little more smoke don't put them too close huh we don't want to burn them but Wow, look at that. Give me a good bit of smoke. And uh, it looks like he probably will need his B tool. It looks like he will need his B tool to get the bees out and into the hive, their permanent home. He's trying very hard not to squash the bees. Great job. That is just such a great job. And then he's just going to load it in all the way over. Look at that. Amazing. It's kind of hard to get used to them kind of zipping around you here. They're getting off the top, which is what I'm glad about. See anybody on that frame room? Hmm? Did you could you tell the difference between any of the bees or just trying to get them in? I'm just trying to get them in. If I can play me one bit. Love the bee suit. That's the only way we could do this. And try not to squash them. And these these are very healthy bees. They have brood and there's clearly a lot of pollen on these, and it looks like some honey as well. Take that? Yes. The button is, is on? Yes. The red button? It is. We are four minutes in. All right. We're just going to keep on going. Great job. Can we smoke them any? Do you think you're okay? Okay. You're messing with their house. I don't want to be too hot for them.
What do we do with this? I, I, when I get there, I'll show you. When you get there, I'll show you. You mind if I do? No. I'm going to try and do one. Hopefully, I won't get stung. You want to lift it out just a little? Just grab it. This is absolutely amazing. Do you see anybody on there on that side? I'm not looking. Just go ahead and roll gently. You're not squashing anybody. There's a bee on my. He left something. He tried to sting me. I don't know if that's sting or not. I think that's sting. Try not to squash anybody. I'm trying to keep the springs nice and close. Okay, last one. This might be where the queen is. There's a lot of activity in there. A lot of activity. Wow. You doing this one too? Uh, I'll try it. I'll always try it. And then I'll tell you how to get the rest of the other ones off. Just be real careful. Let me smoke them just a little bit. That's even because you be gone. They're panicking. They are moving from where I smoke them, no doubt. You think it's a forest fire? It's a All right. Oh, I try not to squash him. You see anybody? This is a honey frame. There's no doubt about that. This is a honey frame. It's heavy. And, uh, come on, get out there underneath there. Okay, now, well, I think a couple tried to see. Now, you pick up the box, okay, and you just dump them really fast. Okay. Okay? Now we need to open up the hive because if the queen the queen should be in there because she doesn't fly. But we want them to be able to get in the ones that are out. That's it. And we just put the box to the side, and that way. Just nope, just that's enough. They'll follow. They'll follow. You got to get used to the buzzing. It's it's incredible. Let me get them away from the edges. Let me try and get them away from the edges. Huh? Oops, I'm not out of smoke. I am out of smoke. Okay, I'm out of smoke. I probably didn't keep going. Oh, we did put the queen excluder down. A couple of them you killed. Okay, get the queen excluder. Oh, he smashed one. We should have brought the bee brush out. There you go. Very well done. Ah. Oh, the feeder. It's like, why don't we have... I guess it's the same. I can't tell either. 
Okay. You just kind of just leave things out here. You take the bag. I think we lost a couple of these. Okay, the jar is too big. Too tall? Yeah. Okay, then we're going to have to use the entrance to reduce. We're going to have to take the entrance reducer off and put the cork on. Why don't we put the super on? That'll give us extra height until we get the other blue box. Fair. Okay. And don't worry about wind right now. They need to calm down. Okay. Let's get the wind or super. Snow. Meaning, don't worry about the super, uh, the um, don't worry about strapping it in. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go get the brood box. All right. Get the brush too. Get the brush. Huh? We have to sweep them first, honey. I think we have to sweep them. Like all of these. This one's oh God! I hope she's not the queen. They'd be all around, man. Right? Yes. Thing lined up. She's in there. She's in there. She's in there. So, how do you zoom? It's a circle thing next to you. Hope it's. Did you turn the recorder off already? No. Nope. I've gone to sleep. I don't know if you guys can see here, but the bees have all found the entrance. That means the queen has to be inside of that hive, which is wonderful because we were hoping that we did not lose the queen, but they are marching in all by themselves. So we're gonna leave the box or the old hive here, other than cleaning up the trash, and we're going to just let them find their way and settle down. It's probably gonna take them uh, several hours to do so, which I hope it only takes them several hours because I have a little harvesting to do. But I am so proud of everybody here at The Crumb, my husband especially, um, because uh, we have our first beehive. See y'all later from The Crumb. <laughs>